sure I don't have bad. working with me. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, you did just see that Adam got his hands dirty on a woodworking project. Hot damn. Well, I'm out of you. I'm going to take him around the corners a bit. Do I? Take a round off the corners a bit. Yeah, go ahead. I'll need the same sides anyway. <laughs> and yeah, go figure. I'm actually at work right now. I'm waiting. It's a gorgeous day. There's graduations. People are going home for uh, graduation. We're not getting a lot of orders. <laughs> Somehow there's spots of latex paint on this. The sandpaper doesn't like going and cutting through latex. It just gums it up. We got 100 grit, 220, and four. And I think I got a 600 grit. I was gonna buy some 80 grit, but I didn't want to sand through the damn table. <laughs> I knew this paint wasn't too thick. So I figured, why go with like heavy grit when I can get by with, you know, medium. Right. Just 
spots of red and blue and other fucking colors on here. <laughs> My lovely sister painting on it. That black circle? It's some something hot. Um my ex's son did that. Because uh, he thought it would be cool. Well, if you would have done more than one, it could have. Yeah. I'm a lazy piece of shit on general day to day, but I love getting out and doing shit like this. And obviously, as I've said in other videos, I like doing metalworking too. stuff so I'll get a cup of water and sand this bastard down. <laughs> well, <pow! laughs> hey this ain't too bad. It's still crap but and this isn't just because it's going in the man cave. This table's needed some TLC for a long time. Pretty much as long as I've had it. And I got it, um, maybe about 10 years ago. It used to be my mother's when she gave it to me. Like, she's the one that painted it white. And she had it as long as I can remember. I'll bring out the 220. No one talks to me or nothing, so I just stay clear. much but you definitely feel it oh yeah and the smoother I get this the smoother that paint's gonna go on it's like dad and I sit up there in the yard and do this on trucks and stuff on uh, body panels so eight hours of time. Yeah, you didn't know Mac was working body right? Yeah. Did you buddy? Yeah, he's the person that got me into doing that stuff.
Yeah, Grant. So this thing will be nice by the time I'm done. Until we get the camera over it. Yeah. Dirk, dirk, dirk. I don't know how well that looks, but it's a lot better than it used to be. At least now we can see the grain. Well, if you show the legs of it. Uh, we'll looks like that. Uh, <laughs> you still moved everything around. Yeah. You know, give me a cup of water when you get that all situated. Yep. I've never heard of uh, wet sand. Really? Sanding, yeah. Yeah, when they paint cars black, like at the shop, because black shows every flaw, they have to wet sand it to make it completely smooth and perfect. And it takes forever. Well, not forever, but it takes a while. Feels like glass, right? Yeah. I've never felt something that smooth over than glass. Exactly. 
You'd think I did all that shit by hand. Unless you guys could feel this. Like, it seriously feels like glass. But if you touch the places that he hasn't done that yet, you can feel that it's wood. Yeah. But what's under the... where he has, where the water sand is, it feels literally like glass. Like, down here where I haven't got it quite good yet, I feel that before. using its own pulp as an extra abrasive. You hear it starting to squeak. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I said, I learned a thing or two working with that. Yeah. Here, and let me get a close-up of this real quick. applied to a lot of sanding. Repeat that. This process of uh, wet sanding can oh. be applied to a lot of sanding. I've got 1,500, 2,500 at home. Those packs are a bit more expensive. They're like four bucks, or I think six dollars for a variety pack.
tablets. <gasps> you said I've been like head to head. <laughs> These end pieces aren't going to come out as well as the top did because I didn't go through all the grits on these. And they're also end pieces, so... Here's what we got so far, y'all. How smooth it is. Seriously, like glass. Now we still gotta, I still gotta take it apart and get the legs and the bottom. And that's gonna be a chore. And yes, I'm, I'm holding a tripod like a selfie stick. That's gonna be a bit of a chore. But I'm satisfied with how it came out for now. I don't think, I'm definitely not gonna wet sand everything about it. I will take it up to 220, and there's a wasp on the fence. But uh, other than that, we're good to go.